further victimization they sometimes experience. And um, it takes courage to come forward. And I think, you know, it's important to have good supports in place when you do. And what about uh, re-victimization? Some people just don't want to relive the whole experience or even have other people get involved. I, I think that's okay. okay. It should be up to the individual's choice. I think the problem is um, when I when I look specifically, you know, at the issue of sexual assault is, again, when women disclose, they're disbelieved, they're discredited, they're judged, they're, you know, accused of asking for having been sexually assaulted. They deserve to be raped because they were drinking or partying. And we need to really work as a society to dispel these really negative stereotypes about women who are sexually assaulted. When women disclose and they're supported and they're believed, again, you know, that, that can be very powerful. That can be healing. But... Um, until we have a really supportive system in place, including the criminal justice system, which is, you know, where a lot of women say they feel re-victimized, um, we shouldn't expect women, you know, necessarily to come forward. And with all of these conversations going on right now, Janice, what do you think would be the, the best case scenario moving forward? Could, could we actually change uh, 